Hello gamers, I am Mike the Zorch, and today we're looking at another inspiring indie. This one was developed by a single developer. It's called Vampire Survivors. This is a roguelike, um, and it's also a, a, something of a RPG. You can level up your weapons and defenses and things. You gather up uh, gems that are dropped by enemies, and these are your experience, and you spend them to upgrade weapons, add new weapons, and everything. It's a simple game, simple to play, not easy to master in any shape or form. This, this game gets pretty wild later on, and you can get pretty powerful, but your enemies get stronger, and they start out simple. Um, some of them drop um, some coins which you can then spend for i think permanent upgrades uh but uh this game is pretty wild it's been it's been covered by some other channels before so let's get into it here it is an early access on steam i've only unlocked just these i don't have enough to unlock these other characters so let's do this one that starts with the wand. Now the thing about this game is you don't have to hit any attack buttons at all. It happens automatically. But your attacks are pretty weak in the beginning until you upgrade and add some more attacks, add some more abilities here. Okay, now we can add some more stuff. Okay, garlic will add a defensive barrier around you that damages enemies. Doesn't keep you from taking damage, but it will sort of create a shield that causes damage to enemies around you. Like, see, like that. And it, you can make this pretty strong. You can make this pretty potent. Let's pick up some experience here and level up. Oh, there's a coin. And you destroy these. Oh, I didn't need that right now. That was for health. But you destroy those 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 uh, fire sconces to get more stuff. So, okay, I can increase garlic. Potency. Okay, I'll increase the potency of the garlic. Let's keep... Okay, they're adding some more enemy... Ah! See that one that's highlighted in white? That's a special one. If that When that dies, it drops a chest. Okay, so my garlic is... starting to lose some of its effectiveness. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, lightning ring. Uh, comb a whip. Alright. Add a whip to the mix. And let's add another magic wand attack. And here's the chest. Open it and see what I get. I'm also getting gold for this. Ah, got another wand attack. Cooldowns reduced by... Okay. So now I'm attacking a lot more. And I'm getting a lot of experience here, but because I'm a higher level now, not getting as much. I'm not accumulating it as quickly. Oh. Come here. Okay, I can add another whip. Okay, 
And armor. Uh, add another magic wand attack. Oh, I am like leveling like crazy here. Steal the whip. Oh, the next one that comes up increases the potency of the garlic. I'm gonna want to increase that because there's gonna be a lot more powerful enemies coming along. Yep, they're starting to come out. Uh, laurel, whip, spinach. You. Raises inflicted damage by 10%. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have to be careful because I'm not doing enough to kill those directly. Oh! I have no idea what that does. Looks like it freezes them in time. Okay, this is spinach. Base damage up 10%. Character pick up items from further away. You know what? That's probably a good thing to have. Ooh, I got damage. Ooh, I'm taking damage. Okay. Uh, hollow heart. Augments max health by 20%. Flame wand. Add flame wand. And I'll pick up this food. Because I was taking damage. Yeah, they're adding some more potent enemies here. Garlic! Yes, I can increase my strength of my garlic defense. Oh! Chest! Alright, what am I getting? Oh! Or wand attacks. Oh. Yes. I increase my garlic shield. Oh, I took some damage there. Um, shield damage when active. Increase my fire damage here. I have to be careful because I took some damage. Let's find some. Let's find some of that food. That's gold. I need gold. I need food for. That's gold. Ah, there's a food. I don't know what that does. Oh, garlic. Yes. And they'll surround you with these every once so often, and they'll eventually disappear. They won't just crush. Yep, see? They eventually disappear. But these guys, these, these are much more dangerous. So, I need to level up. Get some more powerful weapons. Level up my garlic shield if it's options available. Also, they tends to push them away from me as well.
Okay. Spread out. Spread out. You're starting to crowd me here. Armor. More. The bats should be coming back soon. The bat swarms. They'll give me some really good upgrades. Okay, what do I got? And what is that? Base down. Ah, the fire wand. Ah, here come the bats. Right, bats are back. Time to run. Time to get some, rack up some points. Uh, took some damage too. Be careful. Oh, I took some damage from that. All right, increasing the garlic strength. Need to find me some health. Took more damage from that. Okay. Uh, I need food. Alright. Come on. Food. 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 No. Not what I needed. They're like seriously crowding me here. Here's another fire. Oh, that's a coin. That's a coin. There's a fire. All right. Need a uh, need food. I don't need that. I need food. Food. Where's the chicken? Bringing out even the stronger enemies. Oh, there's a fire. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. These things are supposed to also drop food, but they're not dropping it for some reason. Pardon Jesus. trap between them. Better not do that. Oh, great. Those things are back. Ah, there we go. Food. Uh, I'll increase my whip strength now. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. Well, I was doing pretty good there. Power up. What can I get now? Uh, inflict damage five rank armor. Uh, let's see, max health. 
I for 200. Got 300 still. Uh, this one is 300. I got 310. Might. Um, raises inflicted damage by 5% per rank. Let's see, recovery. Recovers. Rank. Cool down. Okay, that's winning a lot. Out. Fires one more projectile. Okay, they want a lot for that. Movement speed. Luck. Revival. Okay, they want a lot for that. Uh, let's see. Greed. Gain 10% more coins per rank. Growth. That one. Okay. And we'll do we'll do the whip guy this time. He's a little more challenging because he only attacked in one direction. If I can... Okay, I can upgrade now. And... I don't know, add a second whip. Way they can't sneak up behind me. Oh. Oh, some damage. Okay, I need some perimeter protection around me. Okay. It's not as good as garlic, but it only occasionally comes out. Which means I've got to upgrade some more. enemies in time clock okay Swarms are coming out. Yay. Ah, garlic. All right. Chest, chest, chest. Okay, I want to get that chest. Mm. 
get away from around me. All right, let's get that chest. Oh, crown. Character gains 90% more experience. Uh, spinach raises 8% more experience. Chance to freeze at enemies in time. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to increase the damage and let's see what I get with this. And, ah, I increased my whip damage. Yes. So I've got a damage upgrade to everything. garlic field. good not good I need health there we go I need one more of those that was a coin I need some more health 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 I'm on Where's that? Where's the... Oh, there they are. Fire. Oh, another fire? Oh. Crap, another... Ah, darn it. Took some damage there. It took a lot of damage there. Darn ghosts. Oh, and it's outside my reach. Oh. Oh, ah. I got out of it, but I took some damage doing it. Uh, I can't do that more any more often. There, okay, let's see. What do I got? What have I got? Oh, increased whip damage. Cool. Grease garlic. All right. Ah, here's a fire. Ooh, no. There we go. All right. Got a little more health there. I can get a little bit more. No coin. Don't need that though. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna upgrade here in a little bit. Okay. And okay, that'll attract. Oh, oh, oh darn it! attention letting it hit me all right 
what can I power up now? I've got a, only a hundred and something, so I can't power anything up. Anyway, that is Vampire Survivors. As I said, easy to play, not too easy to master. This game gets uh, difficult as you go on, and as most roguelikes do. And it's, uh, the game is still in early access on Steam. You can pick it up for like, like just three bucks. I mean, it's not that expensive. In fact, this could easily be a uh, mobile game. I don't know if this is available on mobile, but uh, this is a fairly simple game and it is still in development. So we'll, we'll see what happens to this later on as it gets better and as the developer adds more to it because this was made by a single person. And it's not bad. I mean, this is pretty addictive little game. And you want to see how far you can push yourself, how far you can survive, how far you can how far you can go before you finally get overwhelmed by your enemies. And you can get seriously overwhelmed because they will come at you in vast numbers in this game. It is basically horde mode. Anyway, Vampire Survivors, go check it out. It's a cool little game. It's a fun little game to play. I've been Mike the Zorch. If you liked this video, consider subscribing to Zorch Central and click that bell icon for future notifications. Also, Zorch Central has a website, www.zorchcentral.com. And we also share... Uh, so it's in the Gamers Bay community on MeWe, which is a privacy-focused social media platform. So go check that out, and I will see you next time with another inspiring indie.